Yo, let's talk about code reuse. One time I had to build a system that had users in it. I went around to a bunch of different groups and I collected a bunch of different requirements. I spent a lot of time building a user class. I extracted all of the properties that I thought were going to be useful for a user. And I carefully organized all of the attributes and methods of the class to make sure that it was very flexible and that I could use it for a whole bunch of different things. I spent a lot of time creating a class hierarchy. I created interfaces and abstract classes, extended my abstract classes, created concrete implementation classes. And I did all of this because I knew that the right way to build software was to make it reusable. I knew that the right way to write code was to make it flexible so that I could use it again in another situation. Now, about six months later, the entire application was rewritten and all of my work was thrown out. The reason I tell you this story is because it's hard to write code that can be reused. Another time I worked at a company where I needed to unmarshal data from an HTTP request. I needed to take the parameters that were sent as part of the GET or POST request, and I needed to map those to functions that were being called in the back end. The code that I wrote for that was written once and reused for every single one of the functions in the back end. All of the mapping was generic. All of the type coercion was done generically. And that function went on to be used for eight or nine years before the software was ultimately replaced. It's very difficult to build objects with the goal of having them be reused. Often, we reuse objects in our lives only when those objects actually have a use or a purpose that goes beyond the initial purpose. A really good example of that is bottles and cups and jars and containers. We buy products at the store and those products come in a container and that container has a purpose that is generic enough that once we've used it for its originally intended purpose, once we've consumed the product inside, we can wash it out and we can use it again for another purpose that's very similar to the original purpose that it was used for. So if I go out and I buy a spaghetti sauce in a jar, I can easily wash that jar out and I can put spaghetti sauce or applesauce or anything I want really that's sort of liquid uh, in that jar and the jar is going to serve the same purpose that it served originally. But a lot of code isn't like that, especially code that's in what we would normally think of as the business logic layer. Now obviously you can write code that's going to do mapping and marshalling and converting and that code is going to be reusable. You can write code that implements math functions, that implements all kinds of cryptography functions. All of that code is going to be reusable. But as soon as you get to your business layer, it becomes almost impossible to write code that is actually going to be reusable. And we spend far too much time designing and building code for a flexibility that we're never going to use. Recently we did renovations on our kitchen and we decided that we wanted to keep the sink to build a sand and water table for my son to play with. Now the original makers of that sink never intended for it to be used for that purpose, but it doesn't mean that we couldn't reuse it. When you're building your system, take a look back at old code and see if you can repurpose it. Just because the person writing it at the time didn't introduce flexibility doesn't mean you can't use it for your purposes today. The problem is when we spend development hours introducing flexibility for a future that never comes. That's all for this video. If you think I got this horribly wrong, or if you violently agree with me, let me know in the comments below, or hit me up on Twitter, my DMs are always open. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this, and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. It's something I'm going to do more and more, so I can't wait to see you on the next one.